Hi guys, I'm Susin from Networkers Home Technical Team and today I'm going to show you how to take CCNA rack access. So here we have CCNA, CCNP and so on. This rack access we have with us and I'll show you how to take a physical rack access in today's video. So let's continue. These are our pod numbers like CCNA pod number 124, CCNA pod number 123 and you can see CCNP pod number 156. So these are the different pod numbers. These are our physical rack. So if you guys are willing to do you know lab access physically over here you can sit like this right and take all the rack access and get hands on lab to our physical devices. Today I'll show you how to take physical rack access of our CCNA pod. But before that, you have to understand physical topology. So please come and let me show you physical topology. So guys, this is our physical topology. In this physical topology, you have to understand how devices are connected and how do we get access to console of all these devices. So first of all, let's understand how many devices are connected in our rack. Here, we have four routers. We have router 1, router 2, router 3, router 4. And we have four switches, switch 1, switch 2, switch 3, and switch 4. And they are interconnected with each other. Now, these devices, you have to take console access, and you have to configure the topologies, right? And you have to do the configuration. Trainers in a class will give you task and you have to perform that task on this topology. Now I'll show you how devices are connected with each other. You can see as per the logical topology, right? These are the four routers, router one, router two, router three, router four. And these are the four switches, as I told you, as per the topology. Now I'll show you how those consoles, you see this console port. Please focus here, you can see console port, right? So these are the console ports which are connected. You see all these routers console port, right? This console port gives you CLI access. And these routers and switches console port are connected to terminal server. So this is our terminal server. You can see Cisco. 2500 series terminal server. So the purpose of terminal server is to take individual access. Okay. I mean, individual access for all the devices. Here, you can see all these individual console, right, are connected to terminal server. See, if I have to take individual access and connect to our PC, we have to connect it multiple times. So, work of terminal server is to connect all these consoles at one centralized point to our terminal server and we get access from our terminal server and we connect it to our pc now i'll show you how these consoles are connected behind the terminal server so guys this is where we can see the consoles are connected with our terminal server okay this is our terminal server right and this is console you can see this console and from the back end side also i had shown you right console ports so from that console all the cables are connected at one place this is terminal server and we take a remote access to this terminal server okay and this terminal server gives you access to all the devices that are connected in the that so i hope what is terminal server is clear okay now i'll show you how to get entire rack access through our remote access okay so let's continue now i have connected my 
console cable from terminal server to my PC and now I'll show you how to take access. After connecting USB cable to our PC, you can open device manager and under the device manager, you can come under ports and communication. And here you can see USB serial cable showing you as a communication port number as seven. So through this communication port number, we'll be connecting to our terminal server. So to connect terminal server, you guys can use Putty software or any other software. So I'm using here my backstream. And here I'll go for sessions. And under this, I have a serial over here. Click on serial and select a COM port 7 over here. Go to advanced settings and flow control. You can click on none over here. Click on OK and wait for a second. And then press enter over here. And you can see I'm into a server. Now, I'm currently into a specific router, but I can jump into our terminal server from where I can find all the devices console. So press Control Alt and 6, release it and press X. Control Alt 6, one by one. And after release all the buttons and then press X, you'll come back to terminal server. Now on our terminal server, you can execute a command, so hosts. When you execute this command, it will show you list of devices that are con connected with your terminal server. Now, if you want to jump into any other of these devices, like I told you, we have four routers and we have four switches connected to our terminal server. So let's say if I want to get into a switch one, I'll type S1 over here, press enter. Now it shows you connection refused by remote host. In such cases, what you have to do, clear line and take last two digits like 05, you can take 05 and clear the session. So do it for two, three times. Now type S1, now press enter and you can see you are into a switch one. Like this, you can get access to multiple devices, okay, one by one. Now, here, if I want to switch back to another device, then again, I have to press Control Alt 6, release it and press X. I'm back to terminal server. Let's say if I want to jump into switch 2, switch 2, press Enter. It shows you again connection refused. So again, you can clear the line. So you can say clear line and say 06 for multiple times and then come back to switch to now you are into a switch to terminal so in this way if you want to open an individual uh, consoles for each and every devices even that is possible okay so that's how we get the physical rack access of our ccna that's how a student does a practical on our physical rack thanks guys see you in the next video